Most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living and retirement having. When I do these audio casts, I report on the experiences that I have living rather impoverished after cybercrime, identity theft, fraud caused upon me by people allegedly aligned to my original family, and police brutality, hazing, and harassment that has carried itself across six states from the time when I had a fully paid for business vehicle through the loss of that vehicle because somebody plowed into me and totaled my car, openly debilitating my ability to drive through the 26 different dealerships, I believe, that I looked at vehicles at across the Midwest because I was already basically traveling at that time and it was easiest to do that. Through the marvelous dealership in the north side of Indianapolis, several hours or or ahead of me, and I can't remember exactly the town now, that sold me a lemon. And that lemon cost me another five grand of my, uh, what shall we call it, my eventual heritage from my father's estate. I didn't really like that because I might have been able to buy another vehicle for five grand or invested that five grand directly into paying off on a new vehicle for me. But someone else made that decision without my consent and openly it's cost me. I've also been accosted in a jail cell without the right or opportunity or knowledge to say no. But as you know, most people have the right to know what their body looks like, how much hair they have, how their beard is shaped, how long it is, and what their pubic hair is supposed to be like, along with their leg hair, their back hair, their forearm hair care, which all belongs to me.